How to carve like a boss. When carving, you turn by edging and withstanding turn forces. In order to do so, you need to have a lightning fast transition and your center of mass as far into the turn and as low as possible. And just like in bumps, it's all about staying low and flexing and extending from your legs under a stable upper body. And just like in the bumps, from start to finish, you are never in a static balanced position, like the basic athletic centered stance. This is what skiing centered looks like. And the reason why? The athletic centered stance. Here we have Chris in approximately the same phase of the turn. The athletic centered stance flexed low. Flexed versus extended. This is another great picture for illustrating the difference between dynamic and static balance. For coaches and recreational skiers, it's okay to be standing centered but for ski racers it's not. Now, let's focus on the underlying technique and movements for maintaining this low position. The downside with the low position is that it's tiring and you can easily get caught in the back seat. Potentially falling or even worse, getting injured. But don't worry. Eventually, you will overcome your initial balance issues and working on strength and cardio will help you maintain a new, maintain your new low position. Maintaining a low position and flexing through the transition builds on having a very short and intensive pressure phase followed by a longer float. The underlying technique is called outside leg flexion, also called outside leg retraction. Release the turn by retracting your outside leg at the end of the turn. A visual cue is the outside ski coming off the snow as you flex into the transition. Let's watch a few of Chris' transitions. Flexing extremely deep by retracting his outside leg. Old outside ski off the snow. Flex. Extend. Pressure. Flex to release. Float. This is obviously flexing too deep, but push your limits. Flex, float. Short recap. The secret to modern ski racing is flexing and extending from a low position. Carving your turns edged locked for a short and intensive pressure phase followed by a longer float. Stay low. Maintain a stable upper body. Retract your knees to your chest. Early edge engagement. Cross under transitions. Note, absolutely no snow spraying from underneath the skis. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. Please leave a comment in the section below and like and subscribe if you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded. That's all folks, stay low and out of trouble and see you out on the slopes.